Hey everybody, this is Kristen Brooks, certified CBD consultant and founder of the Healthy Not High Movement, here to help you understand CBD and break the stigma through education. If you've never tried CBD, you're probably wondering, what does it feel like? The answer to this is very case-based and highly depends on the quality and amount of CBD you consume. I'll touch more on this in a later episode. But the quick answer, there is no real identifiable point that things happen with CBD. If there is, it's just the absence of after you take it. You realize at some point you slept better, weren't stressed, didn't panic in a crowd. You realize you didn't fidget or toss or turn and all your thoughts came out more clear and focused. Basically, it's the absence of anxiousness, stress, irritability, fogginess, pain, without any altering of awareness or consciousness. How does all that even work? Well, our bodies were built for cannabinoids. We even have an entire system designed to receive cannabidiol for the purposes of regulating the body's internal systems. People are often amazed by the touted ability of cannabis to treat a large variety of seemingly unrelated conditions. But we now understand that all of these conditions are regulated, at least in part, by the endogenous cannabinoid system, otherwise known as the ECS or endocannabinoid system. Hey, hey, stay with me. This is all proven. Just because you haven't heard of this before doesn't mean that there aren't over 400 studies looking at cannabis and the ECS. The ECS is a network of cannabinoid receptors, mostly in the brain and abdominal organs, and it's clinically proven to be the body's largest regulatory system, but not officially discovered until the 1990s. The ECS works to regulate functions like mood, appetite, and sleep. By taking a high concentration of hemp oil, the body reaches balance or a homeostasis that it hasn't been able to achieve without a source of replenishing CBD. Unlike THC, which overstimulates the CB1 and CB2 receptors directly, CBD binds to those receptors and changes the function to decrease their activity. In the case of pain, CBD blocks the pathways that communicate pain from nerve cell to nerve cell. Now, that's an oversimplification of the science, but there are at least six major mechanisms of action that are performed in the body when CBD is present. That's it for this week. Hopefully some of this was helpful. For the rest of you, stay tuned. I'll be tackling a ton of other topics, interviews with thought leaders and medical professionals, and simplifying a labyrinth of info. If you have questions or a topic you'd like me to address, leave it in the comments below and hit me up on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when I do talk about it. And as always, you'll want to consult a medical cannabis provider. I'm a certified CBD consultant. I have 18 years experience in the medical industry, but I do not give medical advice, make medical claims, and will not consult on matters relating to cancer or seizures.